Hello, my friend. Welcome to Tubeo Channel. Today, I will tell you how to make a simple spring scale using Fusion 360. With careful calibration and using vanilla caliper type reader, the preciseness of this simple scale can easily reach one gram in the range of one kilogram. Keep watching. Let's start. The springs are widely used in normal daily life or industrial equipment. They are simply classified into several types, such as compression spring, extension spring, and torsion spring. A simple spring scale usually uses extension types. When you pull the spring scale, the spring extended, and they obey Hooke's law. Hooke's law is a law of physics. That states that the force F needed to extend or compress a spring by some distance x scales linearly with respect to that distance. Here is a simple illustration figure that explains the law. When adding a double weight to the spring, the distance of the spring that extended is also twice the single weight value. In mathematics, it is written like this: F equals k x. Let's take a look at the real extension spring that I bought from the Kama Home Center. It is made of stainless steel wire. Let's design a simple spring scale using Fusion 360. Open Fusion 360. Make a simple sketch and share. Add other stuff such as the cape to fix the share, the hand to fix the spring. The adjuster knob to adjust the zero lever. The weight to connect the spring and to measure the weight. Since we use Hooke's law to measure the weight, the distance of the extension is very important. The accuracy will influence the result very much. I used a vanier clipper type to measure the distance. Here is the method to get the correct length. Draw a scale meter using Illustrator. You can just download the scale image from the internet. Open the image and scale it to the correct size. Say, one millimeter image equals one millimeter length. Make the total length one hundred millimeter as the main scale. Make another scale, reader, that the length is nine millimeter. They are separated to ten times equal small lengths. First, move the reader to the start point as the main scale. When the reader moves to a definite position, the correct distance can be read as this. For example, the large number is four. The small number is the number that the line most fits to the main scale. It is six. So the final number is forty-six. Now we see the second example. The large number is 100. The small number is 9. So the final number is 109. Now first we 3D print the scale model. After removing the support layer and the debris, construct them together. Fix the spring to the hand and the weight. The weight can move very smooth. I have found the reader plate is a little short, so I add more length to the weight and fit the reader plate. The adjust knob can adjust the zero position. Print the scale sheet. Paste the sheet to scale meter. Now we start to calibration. I tried several ways using a plastic water bottle that filled with water. The weight and the position data results are listed here. Plot the data points using Excel or Origin that are used for scientific data treatment. We can make a simple linear regression using Excel. Put all data set into x and y rows and columns. Add a slope and a y intercept and other cells. Now in the slope line, type equal slope parentheses. Then select the cells covered. Y column first, then type comma, then select X column and parentheses, then hit Enter button. The Excel will automatically give you the slope result. Use the similar operation for intercept calculation. 
on another cell type equal intercept parentheses. Then select the cells covered Y column first. Then type common. Then select X column and parentheses. Then hit enter button. The Excel will automatically give you the Y intercept result. Now the linear equation can be written like this. We can also draw the data plots using Excel like this. Draw the data set using scatter figure. You can see all data fit a line very well. You can also calculate the linear correlation coefficient. In another cell, type R. Type equal C O R R E L parentheses. Then select the Y column first. Type common. Then select X column and type parentheses and enter. Excel will calculate the linear correlation coefficient R for you. You can see the R value is 0.99997. The more R approaching one, the better linear fitting going. Another method is using the origin linear fit function to get the result. Put all data set in the X and Y column. Draw the figure using this data. Select the linear fit function. It will automatically give you the slope, y-intercept, and the linear correlation coefficient R results. The R value is 0.99997. The more R approaching one, the better linear fitting going. So this is almost perfect line here. You can only use two points to calibrate the linear slope and the intercept. Since the spring is not a zero length and no weight condition. The intercept is not zero. Also, the slope is the scaling factor that calibrates the weight. Now, using Illustrator to make a new figure using this slope value, print the scale in a linear reader. Paste to the main scale to the motor shear. Now we use a 450 gram plastic water bottle. Mark the position that aligns the 450 line. Paste the linear reader to the weight motor piece. Release the weight to zero. Mark another zero mark in the linear reader. Now let's measure the weight and check the result. First. We see the zero position is not at the linear scale zero. It is caused by spring having a dead space even though it is a hand. On this spring scale, it is about seven day ground. I still not figured out how to solve the zero position and the linear scale combination problem. If you have some idea, please leave your comment. I appreciate your help in advance here. After that dead space, the other way is very accurate. The error is only one gram in the old other range. If we change to another spring, the measuring range will also change. Also, if we add a more precise linear reader, the accuracy will also increase. But it will increase the reading difficulty. You can select one type of spring to fit your project. We have made a very simple spring scale using a 3D printer. If you have seen the video here, please do me a favor: subscribe to my channel. And click the small bell, so you will not miss an update. Till your channel is waiting for you.